generally the utility companies like power grid companies they specify what will be the power factor what will be the power factor at the point of common coupling let's say there is the industry or a process plant and this is the power distribution system inside a process plant or a commercial or industrial purpose so whenever that uh, that distribution uh, uh, that process plant owner will ask the utility company that their system will be connected with their grid so the utility company will specify the power factor at this point of common coupling why there is a reason in this video we will discuss about that why the utility company imposes a penalty if you exceed that if you exceed that specified you know that power factor limit so let's start suppose this is a network and we will go simply go to the load flow analysis here okay now let's check the study case editor okay will run the load flow as you can see here the grid is connected with this main grid which is 132 kb bus and let's say this is the battery limit for the process plant and here the power factor is 85 percent 85.01 if the utility company specify that the power factor should be minimum 90% otherwise a penalty or the higher tariff rate will be applicable for for that if you let's say it is 85% and if this utility company specifies that the power factor should be minimum should be maintained at 90% so so in that case penalty will be there because if you see this is 4072 kva that means if you can lower if you can lower that uh, lower that um, you know if you can lower that uh, reactive power reactive power compensation you know that reactive power requirement here let's say this is kilowatt plus kilowatt and how much it is drawing this is 3461 kilowatt and 2144 kilobar this is the reactive power and correspondingly the power factor is coming 85 percent this is 85 percent is okay let's take a snap here now there are several ways there are several ways how we can improve the power factor or how we can reduce the reactive power consumption from the grid itself so there are many ways to do that one is that adding the capacitor bank or improving the power factor by means of any other any other means you know inside uh, that inside that uh, power distribution inside the process plant or in the industry and also one thing we can do in this simulation we will add here a cable also because this transformer primary side cable is not connected so due to the cable capacitive effect the power factor will improve a little bit we can do that we will do that exercise first so let's connect one cable here this is by default this is coming okay if it is 150 meter and we'll go to the library we'll select the corresponding voltage level let's say 132 kv cable 
at copper single core XLP 1000 square mm cable. If we select that, these are the typical RX capacitance parameters. So due to this capacitive effect, the power factor will be improved a little bit. Let's check the load flow analysis here. Yes, you can see now it is 87.42%. Previously it was, this is the snap, we took it. So this, previously it was 85.01%. Now it is 87.42% power factor. That means it is improved a little bit. But still if the requirement from the utility company that is to be limited minimum, minimum 90%, or the 0.9 power factor in that case we need to further improve this but this is the this is one example how uh, how the cable cable also that uh, cable can contribute that towards the power factor improvement and here this is the power you can see 3959 kva previously it was 4072 kva that means that means the apparent power drawing from the utility grid supply it is reduced also the 17.8 ampere previously it is now 17.3 ampere okay so this system the process plant is drawing less uh, you know that less power and also what is the status of reactive power real and reactive power let's say let's check this this is 1922 kvar it is now reduced so previously how much it was let's check if there is there is no cable connection in between yeah Previously it was 2144 kvar and after connecting this cable it is reduced to 1922 kvar that means the reactive power drawn from the grid utility system it is reduced and accordingly the tariff rate imposed by the by the grid utility supplier that will be in lower rate so that's why that's a huge difference if you can improve the power factor here at the point of common coupling so that is a huge benefit so this is one of the ways how we can improve the power factor within our battery limit in an industrial in an industrial or commercial plant or a process plant now we will see also the impact of adding of capacitor banks okay let's say in this in this system it is 80 84% at 33 kb bus at 33 kb bus this is 84.39 percentage power factor let's take a snap here because we are going to insert a capacitor bank to improve the power factor okay if we add a capacitor bank here let's say we are adding one 3 m bar capacitor bank 3 m bar capacitor bank simply now let's go to the load flow run the load flow yes here what you can see this is 44.07 percent power factor and it is showing as negative that means reactive power if you see the reactive power flow here 
that means reactive power is not coming from upstream to downstream rather the reactive reactive var which is here that 3218 k var 3218 k var this much of reactive power is is being supplied by this cap bank so this much of reactive power is going uh, back towards the utility so this is not the right choice because with this 33 kb bus there is no motors connected directly with this bus only the transformer feeder so that that's why this problem is coming now if we go back here and now let's say here there are uh, there uh, there is 6.6 .6 kb bus and with this bus motors are connected also here 850 850 kilowatt 850 kilowatt motors are connected also let's say this is continuous duty okay this one also let's say this is continuous duty it is in service so these two motors are in service and what we'll do we'll connect this capacitor bank we we'll connect this capacitor bank here but before adding this capacitor bank we will run the load flow analysis just to check the status of this 6.6 .6 kb bus here as you can see in this bus what is the power factor 89.46 percent so let's take a snap yes this is 89.46 percent now what we will do we will add this capacitor back let's go to the rating page so this is 6.6 kb and rating is 3 m bar okay now go to the load flow analysis yes previously it was 89.46 percent power factor and here this power factor you can see this is also going in the in the backward direction going in the backward direction that means this capacitor this capacitor bank is not properly selected If we change the capacitor bank rating as 1 m bar and if we run this load flow analysis now you can see the power factor is corrected as 99.22 percent 99.22 percent previously it was before adding the capacitor bank it was 89.46 percent and if you compare now this capacitor bank is connected that one ember capacitor bank is connected and the power factor is coming as 99.22 percent let's check the capacitor bank uh, that uh, kvar supplied by this capacitor bank here 1058 kvar also you can check from here also in this rating rating tab here this is 1058 kvar so 1058 kvar reactive power is generated by this it is supplied by this capacitor bank so that's why this 350 only this 355 kvar 355.1 kvar is coming from the grid side because the requirement is whatever required in the downstream network in the 415 volt or 6.6 .6 kb voltage level so all the all the reactive power requirements will come from the utility grid supply plus any other source of the reactive power 
which is the cap capacitor bank here in this case we can improve this power factor yes so now it is 99.22 percent and let's check here at the point of common coupling at the point of common coupling it is here now 95.14 percent you can see so it is now improved and if you if you see the requirement is to maintain the minimum 90 percent power factor so in, in this case we can achieve 95 95 percent more than 95 percent power factor at this point of common coupling so it is now acceptable so in this way we can improve the overall power factor inside the inside a process plant inside a industry as well as the point of common coupling so that the tariff will be at lower end.